Okay, let's put another track on this piece. Shift Command N, let's make another stereo and instrument track. Let's call this drum loop and jump to the mix window. And one interesting thing about adding another iteration of a plugin, if you already have one, you can option drag and push this guy right over here and add on your second track a different expand. Now, as you might guess, this iteration, the second iteration of my expand, is the same shaker part as it was before. It literally option dragged it right over. So if I change from shaker to drum loop, yes, I can change up there. I could go over here and click, but I can just hop right to it there. Then I see that that's still my shaker, which I don't want to just add another shaker part. So I think where I want to go now is to folder 28 and maybe this little loop right here. And because I created a different iteration of the plugin, let me jump back to the edit window, there are still no notes down here. I can be really lazy and option drag that down and have a new note right at C3. So let's mute my shaker part and listen to my drum loop here. Okay, and let's just go ahead and do that same one bar loop back here that we did before. which gives us a chance to experiment with the different pieces of this loop. So that quarter note, whack, 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 that thing, eh, I'm not loving that as much. Let's just kind of bury it. And let's see how it and the shaker are playing along. Okay, getting there. I think I want to just change the overall volume of this second part, this drum loop, and let the shaker kind of take the lead. Maybe just a bit more. Okay, so the whole idea here is I'm trying to come up with a loop that's more fun to play to than a click. I could just put tick, 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 tick and play my part. I'm kind of trying to get the drums to inspire me a little bit so that I play better. I'm more of a guitar player than a keyboard player, so I need all the help I can get in terms of getting in the groove here. So I think I've got the right kind of groove going. What I'm going to do is to move this expand. Let me just close it. Actually, let me just set it for eight bars now. I want my piece to go on long enough that it's going to cover the full song that I'm going to play. So let me show you this loop tool. Now, Pro Tools is already playing in loop mode, but if I record something down here, it's just going to keep playing from bar one to bar eight, right? Actually, bar nine, eight full bars. So that's not exactly what I want. I want to trim this off to bar nine. And I'm just going to jump in here and take a better look. And so let me trim this off to bar nine. Trim this off to bar nine. So now this is called Shaker 03, which I don't really want that called Shaker 03. So I'll change its name in a little while. Okay, so let me listen to my groove here. Okay, so that's okay. I want this to be longer. I could option drag it and put another iteration on here. I can also click on the clip and say loop my clip. So it's Option Command L. It looks a lot like old loop playback over here, which is Shift Command L in the Options menu. 
but we're actually just looping this clip, not the entire playback. So let's do two loops. And this little arrow down here tells you that it's about to loop. So pretty cool. So this is two separate clips. This is really one looped clip. So there's the difference. And the little arrows down there tell you. You know what? I'm going to make one more just to be safe. I'm going to do my same system here. I will click this one, Option, Command L. And we'll get three whole loops on this one. So different ways of doing the same thing. Option, drag it, create a new iteration of it, or just do a loop. Your choice. All right. Next, I think I'm going to add my base part, and we'll do that in the next movie.